Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, and I just wanted to post a quick video. Um, I've been following the posts going up on a contest um, recently, and one of the uh, criteria for the contest is to come up with a story. And I'm boggled by the, I've seen two now, I believe, where the people uh, entering have taken it upon themselves to paint conservatives and in the last one Christians as unhappy, miserable, um, totalitarian thugs. Just miserable and they want to make everybody else miserable. Um, I find that a little disturbing, truthfully. Um, but basically because if anybody knows anything about and one of the examples was the Tea Party. The Tea Party, although I'm not a member, is all about the Constitution, individual rights, natural rights, individual liberty, you living your life, limited government. How that's about repression, I don't know. Christianity is about love. If you're doing it right, I mean, you could say Christians are uh, imperfect because we are, but Christianity and we have enough trouble policing ourselves. We don't need to go out um, and try and police others. Um, as far as Republicans, I'm not a Republican. I don't care, but conservatives tend to lean toward my libertarian views. Um, the idea that they're miserable, I'm gonna post a link in the description. It's just one, but I remembered it from the New York Times, not a bastion of conservative right-wing politics um, that traces the studies that have proven that conservatives, especially Christian conservatives, are happier people. I don't want to get into why, but I do not want to police your life. I don't want to control your life. I want to live my life. And if you need to make a villain, there are plenty of villains out there um, that you don't have to project your um, ideological hangups uh, into your fiction. You could be more creative than that. In my story, I use bugs. I mean, you, even if you would have, if you feel that way, it's more creative to substitute a, um, a proxy for the people that you feel are wrong. And don't make them two-dimensional cartoon characters. Flesh them out. They're humans. No villain thinks they're the villain. Every person thinks they're the hero of their story. And so when you're uh, pursuing creative endeavors, Put a little thought into it, put a little effort, put a little creativity as far as going beyond your gut instinct, your personal hangups, your personal uh, bugaboos, and um, create real people and real motives, and you will produce better work. And you might make some friends that um, you might have otherwise just antagonized with uh, your demeanor, your attitude, your closed-mindedness. So I'm not addressing this to anyone in particular. I'm not going to put any links to the videos or anything like that. I'm just throwing it out there that there are plenty of people that I agree with politically, religiously, just on taste and film, but I don't need to villainize them. I like to have a discussion. Sometimes it becomes a debate. But I stick to the facts, I try to be respectful, and I try to treat them as people. And I would appreciate if others did the same thing. So with that said, peace, have an awesome week, be happy like us people on the right, and God bless. Take care.